Hola amigos, today I'm gonna to give you eight smarter, not harder tools of the train. Starting with number one, foot bumps. When you're installing doors or trying to lift something up that you normally would use your toe for, you can just sit this guy in between and you're not gonna mess up the bottom of that door or anything like that. And then when you're ready to release, you just, right, and it just squeezes all the air out. Uh, this gets pumped up to your foot. Super cool, foot bumps. Okay, number two, laser levels. I'm sure y'all are all well aware of this one. I'm not gonna get into it too much because you laser this way, laser that way, set it up on a tripod, move it all around. Wonderful tool. I uh, save you a lot of time, a lot of headache, laser levels. Uh, then hand saw, guys. So I've had, you know, a million uh, saws. I'm not really somebody that's like, does that much work, but I have a bunch of cool tools. And so I've got all these hand saws, right? And you got all these cool Makita ones. I think and love these 12 volt tools. So um, you're not gonna use this for everything, but for like precise stuff and just something that's handy uh, without creating a lot of dust or, you know, allows a lot of precision. Dude, this thing is incredible. In that same vein, we've got what we call, I call a multi-tool or utility tool. Guys, these things are so cool. You can just dial right in, whatever you want. Uh, cordless these days, you know. Um, got a bunch of different heads on it. Like, I can't tell you how much I use this thing. And then a little screwdriver, like a small mini drill. Um, these things are so neat. This one kind of switches out. I don't think they have that feature with this anymore, but um, this is a really cool drill. And like almost all you need for a lot of stuff. Um, love this thing. Next, uh, this, this, um, Stud finder is killer. It's a light up version. See that? Isn't that crazy? Yeah, it's so much better than other stud finders. Like, get one of these immediately. Uh, installing cabinets. Get yourself some pedestal feet, adjustable feet, right? These are way better than just using like some shims or anything like that. Typically, these things set up at four inches and you can kind of adjust them plus or minus and you have a four inch toe kick and then the toe kick just kind of snaps right into, there's a cool feature that you can just do that with. But uh, these are way better than cabinets that don't have adjustable feet. Uh, design your cabinets to use adjustable feet. And then lastly, hand jacks. So you've probably seen bigger jacks, you've probably seen like kind of like pump jacky things that you can set up for uh, making plastic walls and zipper walls and all that sort of thing, or lifting up cabinets. Those are wonderful. Uh, these things are, Super handy. I just want more of these now. Um, you know, I don't know if it's quite as useful or handy as like a clamp, but it's darn close. And you can lift up appliances and lift up cabinets, really anything that you know you'd have to bend down and use your back for. Um, they have some like super fancy, kind of nicer brands that that go down like super shock absorbing. Uh, this one's just like all right with regards to that. But uh, this is a lot cheaper, so I just want to work with these, but there's a lot out there. So, uh, hand jacks. So, that, those are gonna be the eight smarter, not harder tools of the trade. Adios, amigos.